So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beglin. Hello Peter and hello to everyone watching. For me it's a it's a real thrill to be here. Real Madrid decide to name a starting eleven that looks like this. Casillas keeps goal. Pepe, Sergio Ramos, Rafael Varane, Marcelo. Tony Kroos, Modric, James Rodriguez, Bale, Cristiano Ronaldo. Benzema tasked with leading the line. So it's away we go then. So this is round two between these two sides who have already met once this season. So here we are hoping for another Derby Day spectacle. Averted for now. Bale! What a wonderful goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Real Madrid have an early lead. Good start. Pushes it out wide. Leon has it in a wide position. So what next? And the defence can get it clear. Hurtles into the tackle. Leon. Leon. Now the pass. And he's onside. Marcelo comes forwards. It's Benzema! This could fall anywhere. Well, this has proven to be a really bright start, but they can improve on their work in and around the opposition's box if they want to turn it into something more beneficial. Rafael Varane tries a long pass towards the front. Real Madrid were imperious when the two sides last met. And the fans are asking for more of the same. Aim forward. Real Madrid making the ideal start. It is something to build on. Always when you score early, it gives you such a lift and it, it casts doubt in the minds of your opponents at the same time. And that pretty much sums up the difference in what we've seen. One team assured, the other a little unsure. Away 
from immediate danger. And scored inside the first 10 minutes to make it 1 0. So, what now? Who's going to make this theirs? Managed to get it away. Sergio Ramos cuts it out. Aimed long and direct. And oh, that's too long. Plays it over to the other flank. Oh, good interception. Tony Cross tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Leon. They'll have a dip! It's anyone's ball. A chance! Is the shot on? Oh, he's showing a distinct lack of urgency. Well, look, that's what happens when you're caught in two lines. You just don't know what you're doing. To safety. Bell. Another piece of really good defending. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Just about here, the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Modric passes it through. Played into the middle. Up for a header! It's in! And with that goal comes comfort! Oh, an absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Real Madrid have a couple of goals without reply. It... He's not played the ball, that's a foul. Sees <laughs> it out of harm's way. Bale gets my vote as one of the men of the moment. Yeah, he's very much a man with a mission. He's getting a, a run of games, he's scoring goals, and his team is winning games. Listen, it's all rosy in the garden. Real Madrid are ahead here. It has been a good half for them. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, a very decent attempt. Forward, what does he try from here? Chills one in and the shot. 
Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Well, that's where he wants it. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Chance to shoot! No, too much on it. It will be a throw-in. And that'll be the last act of the first half. Real Madrid in control at half-time, 2-0. Gets on the way. Rafael Varane. Spoon forward. Now it's Leon. Leon with the ball through. Out towards the flank. Ball is over the line. And he's whipped it in low. Really well taken goal. And the second half is off to a flyer. Well, I think it takes real confidence and a natural technical ability to be able to do that. I think he made it look so easy and it was anything but. I would have struggled with that big time. This is threatening to become a really good game. Our scoring early in this half just takes the pressure off now and allows them a chance to be a bit more patient in trying to level things up. Looks to slip it through. Rafael Varane. Balls loose, who's getting there? side really getting hold of the ball surely a shot he's got away with one there Rafael Varane did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger Lobs it in gently, all the way back, and they start again. Marcelo. Well, that goal really has stirred things up. The cat right amongst the pigeons now. Yeah, Peter, the, the cushion is gone, and it may get a little bumpier over the next few minutes, but it doesn't have to mean a momentum switch. If they can gather themselves quickly, they could hit back. It's a loose ball. James Rodriguez. He's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. And he's going to have his name taken. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Fence has got rid of that. Cristiano Ronaldo. He hits it. Oh, that was close. Oh, you could tell he really wanted that. I think what we're looking at here is just a very special talent. Someone who can decide the outcome of a match on his own. <laughs> A 
Real Madrid still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It's long and forward. Tries a through ball. Shoots! Well, he would surely have scored there more times than not. Daniel Carvajal. Oh, he's come flying in. Oh, that's a foul. Free kick's been given. Modric pumps it upfield. Goalkeeper's ball. And it's Kadira. Benzema. Here it is now, surely. Well, I think they've shown a lot of courage in looking for another goal, but if it backfires, the coach will certainly come in for some criticism. They need to keep the ball. Yeah, he's fouled in there. And the finish! And the lead stays intact, just. Yeah, he was just a little too eager to get his chance away there, and it could have level matters. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Marcelo. Oh, clinging on for the points here, right at the end. That a foul? Yes, the referee's given it. Real Madrid have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. I think they need to be more direct now and just start getting the ball forward. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. He does seem to be in considerable discomfort. So we hope it's nothing serious. to get it away spoon forward and it's the goalkeepers to claim Real Madrid just have to run down the clock brings it forward looks like a good ball through information that there will be four minutes stoppage time Forward quickly. Corner then. Good take by the keeper, he's read that well. Marcelo. The final whistle. Real Madrid winners by the odd goal. It really could have gone either way, but a win is a win. The end of the game, reflections? Listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake, it's, it's almost a relief to get it over, and uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.